Once again we're back on the streets wearing Doc Martin boots around our feet. We get dirty looks from every eye, but we pay no attention to those we pass by. That's what you get when you're shaving your head. You get hated by people that you never even met. But we are who we want to be. Everyone's most hated enemy. Skinhead. crazy but in the end there were like uh, about 20 people left that were willing to fight in front of a camera I rented a bar with a small stage and a huge parking lot outside as soon as my guests arrive they can immediately park their car and come in for a drink I didn't want all these skinheads to be seen outside because, you know, the cops may ruin all the fun if they would find out what I was doing, so I didn't want to draw any attention. The drinking started very early and the people at the bar were nervous and excited at the same time. When all my guests had arrived, I called a few cabs to drive us a couple of hundred meters up the hill, where we built a boxing ring far away from civilization. Hey, shut the fuck up for a second, I'm talking. <laughs> so you take two names, they will fight each other, there will be no weight classes, none of that bullshit. You won't pick out who you will be fighting, maybe a small guy, maybe a really big guy. We're gonna drink as fuck, we decided to make the rounds quite short. Drink as fuck, we only f fight one round. Drink as fuck, give everything you have. Drink as fuck. You bulldoze the guy to the other side, the other guy is gonna bulldoze you. <laughs>
event turned out to be a huge success and it formed a lot of great new friendships. We are all still in contact with each other. As the band became more popular, more and more people kept asking me to organize the Too Drunk to Fight event for a second time. We had to make it a private event. People would have to write me an email and then they would be my guest instead of paying customer. So that's exactly what we did. City will become a fix Cause there ain't no pity in a hostile city In a hostile city Know what you say, never say what you know It is dangerous if you don't really know where to go In a hostile city In a hostile city When your hat's cut over with a piece of glass And there's nobody around to save your ass In a hostile city In a hostile city In a hostile city Things are gonna be shitty In a hostile city Things are looking too pretty for you Someday you will go far We tried and we failed Gotta try some 
I hope everybody's drunk. Thing is, you're gonna put your name in a box like last time. You don't know, we don't know who we're gonna fight. It's two minutes today, two minutes for everybody that wants to fight. But I want to make very clear tonight that this is not about fighting skills. How good you can fight, no, it's not about that. It's about him. It's about what you got here between your legs. If you got the balls, you got the balls to do something. Yeah. So today we have no soft floor. We have nothing here. It's very hard. So we only fight with our hands. Only boxing rules. We're not here to just fucking break noses and everything. Although, I want to say tonight, if anybody breaks a nose or lose a tooth, that's not my responsibility. Nobody tells you to do this. If you don't want to fight, don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Now the second thing is, I want to make very clear, is when somebody goes to the floor, you just let them get up, all right? I don't want to have any bullshit that you kick him or punch him, nothing. We're just gonna go two minutes. You punch the guy down, let him back up. If the guy says, I'm done, I want to stop, you stop, that's it. We only go for two minutes, and it's only boxing rules. Boxing rules, no headbutts, no elbows, no kicks, no knees, nothing. No punches on the dick, just punches. Then, the other thing is, uh, you can fight with one hand, so there's no breaks. Normally, normally government and contemporary. Normally, when you clear shot to the guy, in boxing, there's no break, there is no break. He can punch me, here, here. We continue. You can put somebody in a corner and punch him. You can put him in one hand. This. It's, we can do it. It's no problem. But I don't want to have elbows. No headbutts. Just give me a second, you know. No illegal stuff. It's going to be like this. Two minutes. And everybody that wants. I have the balls in this cell. We'll just sign your name and we put it in the box. I see you motherfuckers in 10 minutes. Cheers! This is too drunk to fight, motherfuckers!
The alcohol is necessary because it makes people more wild and less careful. And it's also a good excuse. Because if you lose, you can say you were too drunk to fight. I would not recommend anybody to do this, but it's still much safer than any street fight. It's a fair fight and you can quit anytime you want. But it's the group pressure that make people want to fight hard, that make people want to stay on their feet. It's a great way to meet new people. Because at the end of the day, it's nothing personal. We don't hate each other. Don't